in a minute.
I'm on it and I ain't trying to get in. But I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. When you get in Christ, you, 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 you're in a different kingdom. When you get in Christ, and then you're in a different ball game. When you're in Christ, you do things all the way different from the way you used to do things. Hallelujah. What it means for us to be in Christ. To be in Christ, you have to be born again. To be in Christ, you have to be born again. You have to be a new creation. New creation. Hallelujah. Scripture says, you got to be saved. Hallelujah. And then he tells us in Romans uh, 9 and 10 how to be saved. So you got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Make him your Lord. Your Lord and Savior. You got to believe that he walked this earth for 33 years in the form of a man. got to believe that he was born of a bird. Hallelujah. You got to believe that he gave his life so that you can have life and have it more abundantly when he died of on Calvary Cross. Hallelujah. You got to believe that he went up on that cross because he loved you and still loved you. Loved you so much that he took the abuse. He took the shame. He took everything. For you, I was preaching on last Sunday that God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son. Hallelujah. I mean, he, he let him die for you. Say, uh, for the world. It says for the world, but really it was for you individually. Because he loved you. And because he loves you and gave his life for you, he wants you to have life. Amen. And he wants you to have a good life. He wants you to prosper in life. He wants you to have a blessed life. And he knows the only way you're going to really have that kind of life is to be in Christ. You got to be born again. You got to be saved. You got to become a new creation. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And the scripture says, now are we in Christ. See, we ain't waiting to get in it. But we already in it. And we have prayed that prayer. And confessed his death, burial, and resurrection. That he, that he lives. And God raised him up. And he's alive now, sitting on the right hand of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Asking God to bless you. Amen. Asking God to wake you up every morning. Amen. Asking God to lay down with you at night. Amen. Asking God to put food on your table. Yes, yes. Asking God to supply all the food. Yes. According to his riches and glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's good to know him. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it's good to be saved by him. It's good to be in it. It's good to be a new creature. Amen. And we got to understand what it really means Amen. Us to be in him. Oh, yes, yes, Lord. Because when God looking at us, I want to once we become saved after we accepted Jesus, he looks at us through Jesus. Jesus. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 21 say, Now, was it he that knew no sin became sin for sinners, so that we might become the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ? No matter what kind of sins we committed in the past. No matter what kind of sin you're going to commit in the future. Hallelujah. If you do accept Jesus as your Savior, God still sees you in Jesus. Right, getting, 
that's what that righteous means, that you in right standing with him. Amen. You ain't got to run from it because of what you did, man. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All you got to do is repent. Yeah. But you're in right standing with Amen. God. Oh. And here in Romans, Romans 10 and 9, he said, if we shall confess with our God. See, mama can confess and daddy can confess. That ain't doing you no good. Amen. But you got to be able to confess. Amen. That you know. Amen. When you open that Bible, now God talking to you. Amen. How many of y'all ever said, Lord, speak to me? Yes, Lord. He speak to you every time you open that Bible. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's God talking yeah. to you. Yeah, he tell you. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him up. He telling you that by confessing with your mouth and believing in your heart that you say. Amen. But that's just for the sinner to be saved. Well, See, really, we were saved over 2,000 years ago. Amen. When Jesus rose from the dead, yeah. we just receive our salvation when we believe it. And accept it, receive it, and he raised from yeah. the dead. Yeah. yeah. But thank God. Thank God we say. And, 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 and when we when we do this, we have to make uh the right confession. Yes, yes. Because the Bible tells us, Jesus tells us, oh man, Mark. 11, 22. Yeah, he tells in Mark 11, 22 that you're going to have what you say. Amen. Yeah, and you're going to have to say the right thing. Hey, Lord. Amen. You say the wrong thing, you're going to get the wrong thing. Amen. Amen. That's right. Ain't that right? Amen. But you say the right thing, Amen. you get the right thing. Amen. Yeah, let's see, uh, Mark 11, 22. The God. Amen. Yes, Lord. I know I am. Yeah. Yeah, 11, 22. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now, my Bible, well, it, uh, Mark 11, 22, 20. And my Bible is in red. Amen. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. It says, Jesus answering, mm -hmm. he said unto them, have faith in God. Amen. Have faith Amen. in God. Or either just have the God kind of faith. Yes, yes. What is faith? Faith is believing without seeing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't see God in here, but we believe that God is in it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We might not can see the wind and feel the wind. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But but eleven twenty two say, have faith in God. And have faith in God. Is to have faith in his word. Amen. 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 We need to have faith in that word. And we need to believe what the Bible says. Amen. See? And whatever you confess, yeah. hallelujah, that's what you're going to have. Amen. Whatever you say you got, that's what you got. Amen. You might not have no more, no, but you say you think you got it, guess what? You go, you all, you probably got it there. You confess it with your mind. Probably start believing with it in your heart. Hallelujah. And that's the same way we can have faith in God. In that Bible, in that word, whatever that word says, that you are you are. 
He said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thy removed. That problem is you got a bunch of death, you got a bunch of sickness, say something. Hallelujah. Say something and have faith. Say something to it of what the Bible says. What does God say about sickness? Put the, put the word on it. Hallelujah. He said, whosoever shall say this mountain, be thou removed, and be Now the secret of it is, you came down in your heart when you, when you speak to that sickness and to that disease. You got to believe in your heart. You got to obey. But Jesus, I don't think Jesus is just telling us a lie. I don't believe in no lies in that Bible. Hallelujah. I was telling folk back here that uh, I knew something was wrong because I broke out in the rain. And, and I, was, I was praying against it, but I didn't know exactly what to pray against. So I went to a kidney special. And he said I had a kidney disease. Well, now I'm all right. What to pray again? That was a mountain. That was a mountain in my way. I got in my mouth. I found scriptures on the hill, and I started reading them scriptures day and night. I started listening to them on YouTube day and night. I was getting them in my heart. I was getting that word in my heart. In my heart. Then I will confess it out of my mouth. That word say, by Jesus Christ, on me. You know, He went up on that tree and He died for my sin. He came to give me life and to give it to me. I want to confess it day and night. See, the word works for a born again. We are different creation. We have no normal woman or no normal man in the world. We got something super on the inside of us. Now great is he that's in us. In the world, you got something on the inside of you that's greater than any sickness and disease. The living God, the Holy Ghost. We just got to learn how to talk right. I say, yeah, they diagnosed me with it, but the word say I'm healed. Hallelujah. The word say I'm healed. See, the, the, the Bible tells me that, that, that what the doctor can tell me is a fact. He can diagnose it. That's a fact. You got it. But the word is, is true. Jesus said, if you stay with me, you're going to know the truth. And the truth is going to set you free. Hallelujah. And see, you just need to know what to confess. Amen. You need to know how to speak to that mountain that's in your way. Hallelujah. You need your job the same way. Get scriptures on that. And get it in your heart. Listen to it day and night. That's what Joshua said. Joshua said, get that word and put it before you. Meditate on it day. And night. Don't let it leave you. And then you'll make your own way prosper. And you'll have good success. That Bible ain't gonna lie to you. All you got to do is do what it says. You obey and do what it says. Hallelujah. Job said, just tell them that they obey me and serve me. They'll spend their days in prosperity. And they yield to the place. So that's all you have to do. Just get that Bible and do what that Bible says. Stay with the word. Stay with the word. Confess it. Then you speak to that mountain that's in your way. Whatever devil has got in your way, you speak to it. 
might have to let some people in to talk to him. Let them thank you to praise him. Amen. Yeah, he talking to that sugar. Yeah. He talking to that party boy. He talking to him. You fool. You got more of the Lord. Speak to him. Don't doubt in your heart who you speak to him. But believe. The scriptures say, but believe what you say. Make that right confession. And all you said is what the Bible says. And all the Bible says is what God says. And God says he ain't a life. He ain't a man that he can lie. God's even the son of man that he got to agree with. But he going to do just what he said. Hallelujah. The word going to be. But many times, Proverbs 6 and 2 say we snare. By the words of our own mouth. Amen. That's why we're in a hole. We spoke it. We said, I can't get out of this situation. I can't change this thing. I'm black. I'm stuck like that. Come on here. Proverbs say you're, you're, you're stabbed by the words of your own mouth. Glory be to God. God. Hallelujah. You got to change the way you speak. Yes, you got to change the way you think. You got to get a different mindset. Amen. From I can't to I can't. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to start thinking of yourself the way God said. Yes. God said you can do all things. Amen. Ain't no such thing as I can't have this. Ain't no such thing as I can't get that good job. Yeah. Ain't no such thing as I can't get no harm. Yeah. Ain't no such thing as with a child of God that I can't. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The word of God says you can do all things. Yeah. Yeah. How? Through Christ Jesus. Who gave you strength? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The word works if you work. But it won't if you don't. Yeah. You got the word. got to get the word. So that's many people probably they don't want they won't come get the word. Hallelujah. All that good blessing and they won't come get it. Jesus. Yeah, but he said you speak to him and don't doubt and believe in your heart. You have what you say you shall have. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you say. He said, let us hold fast to our confession. Amen. When you make the confession yes. of faith, it's called making a confession of faith. Amen. You got to hold on to it, y'all. Yes. You got to stay with it. That's because it don't mean to turn loose from your confession. For a week or two weeks, what well, nothing happened? Then I quit confessing. But the Bible said you got to hold on to your confession. You got to keep on thanking God. You got to keep on thanking God. Sometimes you got to help your faith. How are you going to help your faith? You got to testify. Hallelujah. You got to testify that it's already done. You got to testify that you're all in the game. That's so it's a strong thing. Hallelujah. All ready to get it. Got to help that faith out. Yeah. Somebody said, make that right confession. Make the right confession. Make the right confession. Your confession of faith. Yeah. Now look. In 1 John, and I'm giving it to you just like the Lord gave it to me. In 1 John, but I'm giving it scripture so some of you take it note.
Because you have to go home and meddle people. Amen. You have to meddle people this world. So you get in your heart. Amen. Amen. Because if you don't let it get in your heart, Satan will steal this word. He'll come at this word and you won't even remember what I'm preaching about. All that good word that's when that word is and come out of it. But he said first John three. What manner of love? What kind of love is this? And that's all we've been talking about the last week. The love of God. How much God loves us. Hallelujah. Is that what manner of love that God has bestowed upon us? Somebody said, I'm a child of God. And what manner of love has been bestowed upon us that we shall be called? Sons and daughters and daughters. Oh, really, God. We all know what that means. God's your daddy. Yeah, he's your daddy now. Your daddy got everything. He got all the gold. He got all the house. He got all the healing. He got everything you need. Your daddy got it. you into the faith. Yeah. 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 And then gave you his name. Yeah. Put you in Christ. Yeah. What the devil can't do you no harm. Unless you don't know who you are. Yeah. Unless you don't know enough words to stand up against him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you know enough words to stand up against him, you can tell him when he comes at you. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Get out of here in the name of Jesus. Tell them save the Lord is against you. Hallelujah. Blood. I plead the blood. Hallelujah. Yeah, Second Corinthians said we ain't fighting. You, 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 you're in my warfare, but you ain't fighting with Christians and I. The weapons of our warfare. You got God on your side. I look through God to the put them down in them strongholds. You from that. You a son of God. You a daughter of God. You born again. You got a new walk. You got a new pump. You got a new way of thinking. A new way of believing. You don't believe like you used to believe. You don't think like you used to think. You don't go where you used to go. You don't, you don't mess around like you used to mess around. But he said, let this man be inside of you. But see, if you get, if you get saved and you don't change your thing, you're going to keep on doing what you always did. And you're going to keep on getting what you always got. If nothing changed, nothing changed. You're just feeling Thank you. 
thinking about the love of God. How many God love you? The Bible says while I was yet a sinner, He died for me. He gave His life for me. Jesus loved me. And all I want is Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. I want to talk like Jesus. I want to walk like Jesus. I want to think like you. And I don't want to do that is stay in this world. I'm going to have to let the word do the work on Hallelujah. If every time the church is open, I'm going to be in there. Every time somebody has a prayer meeting, I want to be in there. Every time somebody has a Bible study, I want to be in there. Every time somebody talks about Jesus, I want to be there. Get that word out. Get it in our heart. And speaking it with our mouth. Confess it. And hold it to our confession. When Satan comes and tells you confession ain't working, tell him I rebuke you. You will lie in the truth. Right? When he tells you need to, you might as well quit making a confession. Tell him he'll lie you. And the truth ain't in you. Somebody touch me and make 